Do we always have to walk so close? Oh, Jan. They were a favorite TV family from the 1970s, and now the Brady Bunch is back again in a movie. But instead of making it an extension of the television series, the Brady Bunch movie picks up the Brady's lock, stock, and hair curlers and transplants them into a very different decade, the 1990s. Many of the better moments in the movie involve the rivalry between the glamorous older sister, Marsha, and her jealous younger sibling, Jan. See, Jan, I told you they were mine. Now put them back, and don't forget to close the drawer when you're done. She has every right to be mad. They are her socks. But why does Marsha get all the socks? Shelley Long plays Carol, the mom, in a parody of cheerful 1970s chic right down to her absurd hairdo. Mom, can I borrow your car today? I want to ask Donna Leonard to go out for a soda after school. All right, but no hot rodding. The plot involves a $20,000 bill for a real estate tax. If the Bradys can't pay it, they'll be evicted. So they stake everything on a talent contest for the $20,000 first prize, and they do their act right out of the 70s. We are long in the guitar strumming, and our radio is pressing, and good sounds are coming as we're flying down the highway in our makeshift Model T.A. There's nothing dramatically wrong with the Brady Bunch movie, but somehow it never really takes off. I like the way the director, Betty Thomas, creates a laid-back, sunny mood for the family. Even in crisis, they keep their cheerful dispositions. But maybe there should be more of a contrast with the 1990s world outside. This much niceness needs more rudeness as a comic contrast. I guess what I'm thinking of here is a plot where the Bradys are surrounded by Wayne's World. Well, you know, Wayne's World was the, uh, the best one of all of these yeah. TV transformations, and that was just a sketch mm -hmm. that was built into a whole picture because they created a whole world here. It's just set decoration. Yeah. I think it's the same thing with the Flintstones. They put a lot of attention into how everything should mm -hmm. look and not into anything that anybody says. Nobody yeah. really, in the whole course of the picture, says anything funny where there's a big laugh out loud. You've got you know, the one You're right. You've got the one. orange Formica kitchen. You've got all of those sure. funny the costumes, ties, the, shirts, the, ties, the ties, the polka dots, and so forth. That's but it. That's the movie the isn't genuinely amusing. No. When we come back, we'll give you a report from the field on the interactive picture called Mr. Payback. Is it a gimmick or is it breakthrough entertainment?